Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Amen. That fifth verse, you know, we all, that's, that's, that's the favorite part of this particular thing. Trust in the Lord. I know everyone has already begun that journey, so today we're going to talk about for a little while, keep trusting God. Say it with me. Keep trusting God. Say it again. Keep trusting God. Amen. My issue. How do I keep denying myself, pushing myself, my own way of thinking out of the way? That's the issue. Because for a lot of years of our lives, we live according to the flesh. And flesh speaks quickly. It's wrong, but it speaks quickly. And now it is our job as believers to be able to deny. Deny it. Don't allow it to control your thinking because what happens is flesh has a good feeling to you. Flesh gives you what is called instant gratification. Press, press. Don't want you to be able to pray for your enemy. It wants you to act like your enemy. Want you to reciprocate. If you don't like me, if you turn your nose up at me, I'll turn both of mine up at you. That's what the flesh says do. It says treat them like they treated you. But the Bible says for us to love them. That despitefully or, or love them. No, it, we are not sanctioned to hate. We are not. All thing we are sanctioned to do is to get angry. He said, you can get angry. But do what? Don't act out on your anger. Don't. Don't do what your anger telling you to do. I said that real quick to them, like that's yes, easy. Is there anybody going through something, <laughs> but you still got your praise? <laughs> your body might be sick, <laughs> might not have a job, <laughs> might not have many friends, <laughs> but do you still have your praise? <laughs> Can you still tell the Lord, thank you? <laughs> Can you still lift your hands <laughs> and say, God, if it had been for you, <laughs> I would have lost my mind a long time ago. Is there anybody here who have been a witness to what God can do? Won't he open doors for you? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he touch your body? When you know what God can do, tell your neighbor, neighbor, what he's done for others. He did the same thing for me. You are looking at a miracle. I should have been dead a long time ago. But look what the Lord did. He kept me here. He made me safe. And I don't know about you, but he didn't keep me here for nothing. He kept me here to praise him. Is there anybody here realize that your life is an instrument of praise? God is blessing you so you can keep praising him. Can you still praise God when you don't have no money? Can you still give God some glory when everything is going down? 